Ashleen Caino with the My Best Self Project and welcome to your daily taroscope forecast for Saturday, February 3rd. So let's have a look at the cards. We have Release, Eight of Earth, and the wheel or also known as the wheel of fortune so this is a really cool spread okay it really tells a story and i think it really sums up the story we've been going through all of this week about um releasing what no longer serves us so we can have new beginnings and manifesting them so here we go release it says the end of a phase or situation spiritual transformation time to move on. So you can look at this in so many different ways. Some people might fear this because they're like, oh no, it's telling me um, to end a relationship or that, you know, things are going to come to an end. And, you know, people fear change, right? Like that's something I think we can all relate to, like <gasps> the end. But I don't necessarily see it as like end, end. Like if this was, if this were a, re a relationship reading and this came out, it could indicate it's time to move on and let go of that relationship, or it could indicate that it's just the end of that phase of the relationship and that it's going to evolve into a better phase now. So this just simply means making a conscious choice to let go of what no longer serves you. So if you are in a relationship and you feel like it's not going great right now, perhaps make a conscious choice of changing behaviors, for example. Or if this is a job situation and you're in a job that no longer serves you and you're really wanting to do something that fulfills your heart, this is a sign that it's the time to move on and go after your heart's desire. Whatever it is, you're being urged to do a release right now, and this totally coincides with the lunar eclipse, the full moon lunar eclipse that happened a few days ago. This was all about releasing. It was all about what your heart desires and going after it. it you have to do the release energetically so that you're open and you have room for the new to come in, what you want. So you're being called upon to get your acting gear, release. Then we have the Eight of Earth. So it says skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. So this is saying that it's not just a case of release and everything's going to happen. It's saying, you know, take it that step at a time. We talked yesterday about making that plan and implementing the steps. This is saying that you don't, you don't have to go to long, alone or you don't have to know it all, okay? So if this is something about a relationship, like go look up some books about how to better get along. There's an amazing book out there called The Five Love Languages. Absolutely wonderful. It makes you actually realize that your other half speaks a completely different language from you and it's why there's such a communication breakdown. There's tons of things you can go out and read to help progress yourself. Um, if it's involving a job or career and you want to take that leap to get your dream career, but you know perhaps you're not qualified right now, this is telling you start learning, start studying up, maybe start doing night classes. Maybe you work in a retail store, but you want to be a doctor or a nurse. So this is saying get to school, get learning or learn the skills that you will need to do this career. One way or another, it's saying release what it is you no longer want, make the conscious decision that this phase is ending and now I'm going to take the steps to get the tools so that I can move into that next phase of what I do want, of what my heart desires. And then we've got the Wheel of Fortune, and this is saying a time of positive change, that the situation is going to suddenly move forward, fortune is on your side. This is saying that this is all divinely guided, like this is all happening for a reason. Just go with the flow with the energy. It may be emotional, but today feels like it's more empowering, um, really taking the steps that need to be done, and it's feeling very positive, honestly. It's feeling very like, okay, I can do this, and you will feel coincidences happen or notice them that they're little indicators of you are on the right path because there's all this positive energy that is just saying yes, yes, yes. Like sometimes when we're trying to make change, we get a lot of red lights, and it's like the universe is trying to stop you. No, it's, this is going to be like green lights all the way. And if in doubt, ask for a sign if you see repeated or repetitive numbers like 111 or 444, things like on a... On a on a clock, I forgot the word. Um, or if a certain song comes on the radio, like things like that, ask for a sign, am I on the right track? Like look for the signs. Okay, then we got the angel message for the day, which is law of attraction. So it's saying relationships and activities that you once enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. 
So again, this is saying that you're noticing changes. It's time to move along. It's time to evolve in your journey here. But also, this is about staying aligned to the positive energy you need um, to manifest what it is you want because that's how the law of attraction works. It works both ways, right? If you're worrying, if you're doubting, if you're in fear, you just cr you just attract more of that. Whereas if you're focused on what you want and going after it and taking action and believing it and going with the positivity, that will all flow to you. So that's the message from the angels that you're being supported. Just stay aligned with the law of attraction. And then affirmation for the day, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. I think that sums it up. <laughs> this is your affirmation for the day. Write it down, put it on the walls, the mirror, say it multiple times. This is your mantra, all right? I'm unapologetic about what I desire and I trust that what I will focus on will grow. Law of attraction, believe in it, trust, go with it. You're being guided. The fortune is on your side here. Fortune, not the fortune. Um, yeah, make that conscious choice to release the negative energy in your life and what no longer serves you. Ah, okay, you guys, this is wonderful. I look forward to bringing your taroscope tomorrow. For now, like, share, tag some friends, subscribe, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Bye.